Uh, hello, welcome to my kitchen. Um, this is Matt. Oh, I pointed my feet. This is Matt right. Tebbett. Sorry. Um, off of Saturday Kitchen, um, and uh, we're making his orecchietti. 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 Thanks. Uh, with broad beans and crab, and something else. Chili. Pure. And chili. Yeah. And garlic. Something like that. And garlic. This is the pasta that I made last night, and we're now. And all it is, is um, semolina and water. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I'm not good at this, but, and you're better than me, but it's not your show. So just stay there, Tebbert. Okay. While I do a bit of this admin, which is you get a little bit of the mixture, and you squidge it with your thumb, and then it just looks like... Little ears. To be honest, it looks like a tiny little poo. <laughs> Let's be honest <laughs> with you. It doesn't look like an ear, it looks like... <laughs> It looks like something that one of my kittens <clears throat> would have done. This is sort of the idea, isn't it? That's totally the idea, yes. Yeah. So you've got that nice rough side to pick up sauce, and then the, 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 the little indentation in the middle. Oh, that was a good one. There you go. So I'm quite pleased with that one. Let's <laughs> um, frame that. Okay. Uh, so, um, also, the other thing I noticed when I made this the other day, because mm -hmm. obviously I've practiced. Okay. As you can tell from my pushing technique, yeah. is that. Uh, you don't need very many of these in a very, very filling dish. No, which is rather good, isn't it? Because they are, it's quite labour intensive to make them. Well, except once you start it, it's quite hard to stop, actually. Really? Yeah. Find it therapeutic? Or something like that. Really? Or just a pause <clears throat> at how little I Yeah, you need a, I don't know, just enough to fill your palm of your hand. Because they are very filling. Yeah. And it's very rich with all the crab. Yeah. And the oil and the chilli and whatnot. Great, great recipe. Um, okay, so this is these. Now we have to leave them here. Oh, a few more minutes. We have to leave them here so they can dry out a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we will come back uh, in a matter of a moment for you, in a matter of five or six hours for us. <laughs> and we will uh, make the rest, make the sauce and cook these. They take about one minute to cook, don't they? No That's time at all, literally in and out. Yeah. Okay. And in fact, you think it's going to take you ages to make pasta, but to make these took 10 minutes, and then to squidge them, get off! It, sorry. To squidge them took, what's it been, a couple of minutes? There you go. And then to cook them takes one minute, so it's actually quite quick. Okay, we're back. So, we're now ready to assemble your recipe. Okay. So, this has been sitting here drying for yeah. the last, how long did we talk for? I don't know, half hour? I think it was a bit Probably longer, actually. Uh, so that's all ready, so it's got a bit drier. I'm going to heat this, uh, which is going to be olive oil with some garlic and some... Um, uh, what's the other thing called? Chilli. Chilli. Is that about right? Um, let's have some more. Please. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, forget my oil. I do have a tablespoon measure. It was a tablespoon in there, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah. What oil do you use? Olive oil. Yeah. Is that all right? That one. Okay. Um, that's one chili grated. Yeah. Going in the not yet hot oil. Uh, and one big fat clove of garlic. Look at that. Look at my eyes. I've got to do that there. What? Because you're old. Because I'm old. How old are you? <laughs> Forty-five. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna go over. You're gonna burn it. Okay. Hang on. Are you gonna throw the chili next or the beans? I've put the chili in. Yeah, yeah. No, sorry. Are you gonna throw the uh, the crab or the no, I'm going to wait. I'm going to cook these. Okay, so put it to one side. Okay, to one side. Well, you're quite bossy. No, no, you're going to lose the, you're going to lose the um, garlic. No, I'm not going to lose it's it. It's going to get bitter. No, it's not. I can start again. I've got more. No, no, that's fine. That's okay. fine. Should I spit on it? Tell you what, I've got a lemon. Yeah. So put a tiny squeeze of lemon in it just to stop the cooking. Okay. What's your lemon? It's fine. Pants? No, it's nice. It's great now, but in 30 seconds you'll, you'll go this. Okay, it's all gone horribly well. No, it hasn't. I've burned no, the garlic. Oh, it's not. Good. Should I take it, should I pour it out of the pan for a second? Let's just... This is the yeah. worst internet Make we've it. ever had <laughs> on this column. <laughs> so what's I going to do, just cool it down? Yeah, right. I could have spat on it. Okay, <laughs> that would have been nice. That's what my granny would have done. <laughs> Yeah, okay, that's good. Okay, we're fine. 
Don't panic. It's all right. It's all going fine now. <laughs> we're waiting for this to come to the boil, at which point right. we're going to put in our pasta. Okay. Uh, and it's going to cook for how long? Oh, it's just in up to the boil. Really? And that's, like that's, a minute? Yeah, probably about a minute. If that. I mean, and then are we going to take it out with this? Uh, yes, you can, using to make sure we get some of the water in. Okay. Basically to kind of balance the, the oil. Okay, and at that point we're going to put in some crab yep. and, and the beans. And the beans. Yep. And this over here, ladies and gentlemen, the is the broad bean puree that I made this morning. Nice. And that mm -hmm. is just shallots and garlic mm -hmm. and broad beans yeah. and a little bit of stock yep. pureed. Very nice. Did you pass it as well? It's very smooth. No, but I've got a really good wazza there. Is this really smooth though? Yeah. Now, did you steal this recipe or did you invent this recipe? No, this is a mix of a couple of different recipes. And is that what you do when you're devising a recipe? You go, I'll have a bit of that and a bit of that. Is that nice? Really nice. Is it? Is it warm yet? So I would have the beans and the crab in here ready to go. That isn't what it said in your recipe. They're there to be interpreted. <laughs> Okay. Salt as well. You just put your finger into a pot of hot water. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so crab and beans first. Okay, so yeah, let's get the crab and the beans in there. Mix, mix, mix. Okay, hang on. It was this many beans, but I've got more beans if you think that's not enough beans. Get. I think that's nice actually. Okay. Yeah. And the tarragon, that doesn't go until the end. No, right at the end. Okay, so now, now I put my pasta on. Exactly. So now the pasta in. And then, <laughs> from, a, from a height, it's really important. It's That's not. It. Okay, wasn't meant to be from a height. So now we just wait for this to come okay, to the boil, well and then they're coming straight yeah, out. Yeah, well let's keep it up in the 30 seconds or so. Okay, we'll Is this keep warm? warm. Should be. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. That eat more salt. That's really nice. No, that's that's nice. really nice. Right, put that there. Okay. Do I turn that off now? So, yeah, let's turn it off. Okay. So here are so the cooked ones coming to the top. Asbestos fingers. No, more. Let's get some more salt. Best thing that's ever happened on Saturday Kitchen. Best thing. Best thing Your favourite chef you've ever been on. Um, I. Wait, get off it. Okay, you've bought some of those for it. Okay. Well. Okay. Right. Too much already. Yeah. So, <gasps> so just that's right. Just swirl it around. Just keep doing that. Um, do you know what I, I love? Uh, Nicholas Eckstead. He's a uh, Swedish, Swedish chef. Um, yeah, I'm sure it's Swedish. But he is so super cool, and his food's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And he just, he's like, he got into um, cooking. He hasn't got any gas or any electric in his, in his kitchens. So he's so wood. He's got seven different. Barbecues. Wooden barbecues. In England? Different, no, this is in uh, Scotland. Uh, and he's got seven different stoves, where, or not stoves, but you know, burners, that of different temperatures. So he, he heats things up like fat, he uses fat a lot. So he heats beef fat up, and it'll take on the flavours of the smoke, and then he'll pour that over oysters. Oh! Things like that. Okay, that's looking nice. Swirl, swirl, swirl. That's good. Okay, good. Stop. Turn that off. Arrogant. Yeah. That much? Uh, a le bit less, a bit uh. less, a bit less, a bit less, a bit less. No, yeah, cool. Right, in there. Mix with. Great. Okay, we're going to plate it up. So. These two? Okay. Happy with that? Okay. So. How much of this? Just a touch, yeah. Sort of like that? Well, like that. Yeah, and then some of that on top. Some of that, this on top? No. Come on. <laughs> okay, we're going to do two then. Right. So just enough to hold things in place. Ooh, nice. Yours is better than mine. Okay, and um, this. Um, it's saucy enough. Yeah, it's so. Like that? That's it. Stop. Yeah, nice. Do you like this with your sous chefs in your restaurant? What, just. Taking like them off all the time? On them. No. <laughs> yeah. Over their children. Not like that. <laughs> bit of that. Well, it's uh, pasta's an interesting one because it's it's so last minute. I mean, it's all very kind of rustic and relaxed, but there's quite a lot to getting a nice sauce, and and it's all kind of yeah. 
Let us. No, leave that one there. Right. Two people can be crossing here. Okay. See, this is already absorbed all that liquid. Yes, I know. I knew it wasn't too much. So you just put more in. Well, then, so that will, you watch, that will kind of get absorbed. Okay. So remind me what the name of this dish is. Um, <laughs> what is Oriketti with crab and broad beans? Broad beans. Mm. 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 Very nice. It's very nice. How different? Oh, that's delicious. How different is it to what if you'd done it completely on your own? Well, not a lot. It's different. Need a bit of pepper? You reckon? No. Um, the difference is mm. the crab. Which wasn't great crab. It's, and a crab, it's a, such a sign, but it's difficult to get hold of good crab. But good, flaky, white, unpasteurised crab meat. It's amazing. What do you do with brown meat for crab? Um, blitz it into a sauce. Mm. Mm. Made it into a mayonnaise. Mm. Um, brown meat is great to add at the end of a, um, a risotto, and then flake over white meat. Mm. Um, it's much more depth of flavour in, in the brown, but everyone loves white because of the texture. So normally when we do this, we just have one little bite and mm. then I go, thank you very much for watching, goodbye. But I haven't finished yet. Mm. So you don't need much pasta, do you? You really don't. You're really clean. Mm. In fact, we've shared that and I'm pretty much done. Mm. That's a meal. Mm. It's lovely. That, nice. that was Matt Tebbuck. I've been over for it in my kitchen. <laughs> and that's the end. Say goodbye, Matt. <laughs>